Blake Hance. The 49ers claimed offensive lineman Blake Hance from the Cleveland Browns. And last year, he played all tackle. He played a couple games at left tackle, 150 snaps, about 450 snaps at right tackle. So 600 snaps last year, none of them in the interior, all of them at tackle. Now, the 49ers have a lot of players that can play tackle. Jalen Moore, Colton McKivitz, Daniel Brunskill's played in the past, hasn't last since last year. Um, Nick Sakel was a tackle in college. He made the roster, which surprised me because I thought Poe was better, but they got Poe back on the practice squad, more on the practice squad in a minute. Um, but are, do is are they telling us that maybe they're a little bit worried about Mike McGlinchey to start the season because they want so many guys that can play tackle, and they went out and got this guy um, – in uh in blake hance to play tackle and john what is your scouting report on blake hance if you've seen any of him it's not great um i'm just gonna be honest it's not great he's played both sides which i think they've struggled with because most of the players they that they have at the tackle spot look best on the left they don't have a lot of guys that are good on the right side um i really thought Jalen moore was going to be the player that was waived today not hasty but you look at the numbers and the pressures allowed, um, not great, very similar to kind of Brunscale's numbers last year, if you just compare like snap rates and pressure rates allowed. But uh, I don't know, man. I'm not the biggest fan of this. I don't like him over really uh, Colton McKivitz at right tackle. I would mm. prefer to have McKivitz there. This is, I think it's a depth piece. I think it's just a depth piece that they can see if it works. Um, they didn't get a trade for Sermon, so they were just like, screw it, let's get, let's get another tackle in here. Where is Eric Fisher at right now at this point in his career? Because he's still out there uh, available. Obviously, he's a veteran. Do you like this guy over in Eric Fisher? Uh, I don't like either one, I'll be honest. Uh, <laughs> I, I prefer Fisher, but um, yeah, I, I would say... I'd say no to both. This is grasping. If it doesn't work, I could see him turning re relatively quickly. And so either he jumps in and catches on quick. Uh, we're not going to see him week one or anything like that. But if he doesn't, like, I think this could be a turnstile approach at that tackle position. BSE in the chat says they don't trust Jalen Moore. And I wouldn't trust him after what I saw in that last preseason game. I liked what I saw from him as a rookie, though. I don't know where he is health wise, but if they don't trust Jalen Moore, then why is he on the roster? You know, just he because he's a fifth round pick, is he that should enough? be guard. Jalen Moore should have been a guard since the day yeah. they drafted him. I don't know. They said he was going to be a guard, and they kept him outside. I think they're misusing him, and I don't like it. But I love his potential. I thought he was going to be more in the mix with Banks and 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 Burford, sort of in one of the, as one of the starting guards, and he was never really there in camp. And they they pretty much clearly wanted it to be. Banks and Burford at left guard and right guard. And so Jalen Moore kind of just uh, is an afterthought. And if he's not going to even be a factor and if they don't want him to play tackle, then I'm not sure why he's on the roster at this point. Um, looking at Blake Hance. So his PFF numbers are good run blocker, terrible pass blocker. That's a <laughs> oh, that sounds like Kyle Shanahan guy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I said. That's what I told Jeff Lloyd. So wh what does this sound like? So um, yeah, Bad pass block grades, pretty good run block grades. Um, his best ball, according to Jeff Lloyd, the host of Locked On Brown, said his best ball last year was at right tackle, the left tall, left tackle, but can play anywhere other than center, which is why they moved on from him because they were down uh, center and they needed depth at center, so they they decided to cut a tackle instead. And, and some people around Brown's land were a little bit surprised just because he started some games last year for him at offensive tackle, and those guys don't really get cut that often. Uh, and I asked him about the PFF grades because I haven't seen a lot of Blake Hans to know for myself. And I said, you know, is, did that play out on the field, what those pre PFF grades were? And he said, yeah, he doesn't really have much of an ass to anchor is what Jeff Lloyd said. Yeah. Well, it so, sounds like McGlinchey. It, you know who it sounds like to me? This is the next Tom Compton. It's so many of those guys. Now, the one thing yeah. I will say that I thought uh, was interesting is from Northwestern, which like we went through all 90 players and like went through their high school, like – I think out of all 90 players, 82 were like national, like merit, whatever, or on a roll. Like that's important. So they want smart, they want versatile, and they want good run blockers. Everything else, just throw it to the wind. We'll see what happens. So he fits so many, he checks so many boxes. I don't think he's going to be around for a long time. I hope I'm wrong, but I, I don't think this is going to be a lasting piece. That's what I thought about Tom Compton. Uh, and, and this is the MO. He's, he sounds like a Kyle Shanahan type. They like to bring in a veteran who's that backup. And so we'll see what happens if there's injuries 
Um, I would expect him to not play over Colton McKivitz. I'm with you. Uh, you know, uh, the, the tough, smart guy thing with Colton McKivitz, and his, he's at least, I, I think, earned enough to, to get the first shot at tackle if McGlinchey's not playing. But uh, clearly they're a little bit worried about depth at tackle to me, which is why they brought in someone like Blake Hance.